had some chances in this series, but haven't been able to take advantage. Great, tonight is their last chance. And Kevin, there are no tomorrows uh -uh. unless it's vacation planning. <laughs> but talking to them, they're not ready to concede. If they win here, they go home for game six. And if they can win that, boy, anything is possible in a game seven. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Poole are the guards. James Wiseman's out there with baddest one. And it's Wiggins in at the three. So it's the Warriors now. After the miss, three from Evan Mobley. And the basket by baddest one. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Got a hand on it, and he's able to get it back. And they're able to recover. Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. First quarter of play, one minute played. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. He said tonight, the mission is to go out and win this at home. He told me, we're one game away from capturing the championship, and there would be no greater feeling than to do it in front of our great fans. We're going to pour our hearts into this one for them. That sounds like quite a rallying cry, Kevin. We will see if they can finish the job. Back to you. Thank you, David. Pass to Allen. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. He takes it in. The second effort. And there's the bucket on the layup from Baddest One. Baddest One's got six. And the rebound and the foul show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Lays it up off the glass. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Ripped away. Outside curve. There's the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Curry. And the story Curry. here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. To the inside. Mobley. Allen trying to break free. And there's Mobley, and that's good on the assist by Garland. Sometimes it looks like for Garland, the game comes a bit easy, whether making plays for himself or others. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Garland after the made shot from Battiston. To the middle, here's Mobley. And Wiseman sends it back. Wiseman using the length, swatting that one away. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Two minutes remaining. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Warriors. They're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooter. They've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition, so that focus on fast break adds to your total in a hurry. Here's Pattis one. Good, and Curry gets the assist. He's got 12. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Allen. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Getting a great look for the big guy as Allen scores on the interior. Here's Pattis one. Oh, good on the three. The Cavaliers trail by nine. The pass to Ubre over Wiggins. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. It's his first trip to the line. Kelly Ubre is a multi talented forward that plays with a lot of confidence. If he can keep this kind of consistency, he's going to do some damage in this league. Baddest one misses. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. To the paint and stolen by Mobley. Dishes to Garland. Looking for Allen and gets it there. No good. Shot missing. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley oop attempt. And you like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. 
Oubre outside. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Down low, here's Mobley. Warriors with the rebound. They won their last game Monday night. Tremendous boys on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. Saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that one. There's the steal. Yeah, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome. Yeah. Cleveland shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. First one falls for him. At the line for your Cavaliers. Darius Garland. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. Here's Baddest one. And so it's the Golden State Warriors going into the break with a 10-point lead. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. And we'll be back with you shortly. with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at game five and from what we've seen so far from the Warriors how would you grade them yeah in that first period they looked to push in transition at every opportunity it felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that get out quick setting the floor for the Warriors Curry and Cool are the guard one out there with James Weisman and it's Wiggins in at the three spot. And now the latest from our reporter David Alden. Well guys, baddest one in the last outing against Cleveland was phenomenal. He dropped in 55 points and as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? And David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled that with that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's Mind what I lane. like best. Mind the lane. The Warriors making a change here. Kaminga's checked in. He throw good. Mobley. Warriors leading by five. Cool, the pass to Kirk. Back to Cool. This is it to Kaminga. And stolen by Mobley. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Inside. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Mobley's got seven now in this quarter. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. First trip to the line for him here. At the line for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga taking two shots. That one misses. And he sinks the second. So Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. 
Here's Kaminga after the main shot from Evan Mobley. Weissman the pass to Kuhl. And a miss there on the triple. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Oubre on the wing. And it's Allen with the jam. That's a great finish from J.A. A high percentage look inside from a very high percentage shooter. It's to Kaminga. Back to Curry. Here's Kaminga. Six on the shot clock. Back to Curry. Here's the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got six. So active from behind the arc, and he's going to be there all night long. Curry needs just a bit of separation. He'll let it fire. Really like that work here in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. So it's the Warriors now following the score by Cleveland. Kaminga gets to Curry. To Kaminga. Deep. Mobley with the rebound. For Cleveland, they've gotten all of their first six shots to go in here in the second. What a corner so far. Oubre with it. Eisman picks him up. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Golden State's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. One forty-four left in the first half of the game. Here's Pattis one. He's got 18. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Kaminga, no good. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Oubre dishes to Allen. And there will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. So the length of Allen causes defenses lots of problems. Difficult to guard without fouling at times. The Cavaliers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And Allen provides three things consistently when he's playing. He'll rebound, he'll score a little bit, and he'll definitely give you rim protection. So not a guy trying to shoot a bunch of three. Cameron Payne's checked in for the Cavaliers. And then for Golden State, Raymond Green comes in for Wiseman. And it's Clay Thompson in for Jordan Poole. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Golden State's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. to Kaminga. 102 left to play in the first half. Back to Curry from past the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. We pray no one around him. That's good and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got his seventh assist in the game. Thompson outside. Down low. Here's Green, and Green slams it in. Well, you're always looking to see if somebody has a better shot, even if your name's Clay Thompson. Nice dish. Mobley, left side. Amon Green with the rebound. The defense there got away with a major pass. Thompson fights Curry, and good that time. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. 26 seconds left in the first half. There's Garland. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. It really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. The pass to Thompson. Right side green over Allen. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Jared Allen. How about Draymond rising up into the contact? He's a good offensive player. 
two. Who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. The Warriors have converted one of two free throws so far today. And the first one at the line is good. Amazing to think about Draymond Green and the career arc he's had thus far. He really can guard any position on the floor. He can make plays. Really a unique talent. He doesn't get the second one. Evan Mobley getting it done for Cleveland. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back right after this. back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. You know, baddest one has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, he's been nothing short of a wall at the rim so far in this one, single-handedly providing great rim protection. Been aggressive to block shots, but also avoiding fouls. That's a, that's a heavy presence inside. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. A coral out there with Darius Stone. And it's Oubre in the three set. That's the five for Cleveland right now. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Oubre passes to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Mobley. Well, Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes. He doesn't make a mistake that time. Here's Pettis one. 18 points for him. Just five on the clock. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. Yeah. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start. Buckley there. Here's Pattis one. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And that's now 20 points for Pattis one. Knocked away. And he takes that one up and powers it through. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. And here we go. Fast break. Wiggins has got it. Here's Baddest one. And he finishes nicely on the way. Baddest one's got six here in this quarter. That's three of four here to start the half. Here's Garland. He has six. To the inside. Allen. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Baddest one. Guarded by Garland. And the basket by Baddest one. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. To the paint. Here's Mobley. It's deflected. And he recovers it. Here's Pattis one, defended by Allen. Here's Pattis one, he dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Oh, 
Rock. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. is checked in for Allen. Lynch comes in for Oubre. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for a Coro. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Two minutes remaining in the Lynch third. Lynch against Wiggins. Two minutes. To the middle. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Mobley. And dropping the sledgehammer there. He curves a 10 run by Golden State. Back to Curry. against Lynch. Wiggins kicks to Wiseman. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists tonight. And Wiseman has shown that kind of potential. A seven-footer that can catch and shoot. Wow. Now, here's Garland. Six points for him. Mobley, left side. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Here's Mobley. 23 points in the game. Five to shoot. Here's Rubio. That one off the back iron and out. Warriors leading by three. Here's Baddest one to the paint. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And there should be tons of trips to the free throw line for Wiseman. So tough to stop inside. Cameron Payne's checked in for Garland. And he's good on the second. James Wiseman just so tantalizing. You see that seven-foot frame, those long arms, the rare combo guy out there. It's going to be great to watch him grow. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Warriors? They're looking to attack and transition every time down the floor, just wearing the defense thin at this point. Man, scoring off of turnovers is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight at converting on those chances. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's Pettis one, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Mobley. The Warriors have shot five of eight from the foul line. And he makes the first two shots. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Probably as close to a short thing as you can have at the free throw line. Now, here's Rubio. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Mobley. Oh, that's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Cavalier is able to retain possession here. Twenty-four seconds left to play in the third. Shot clock at six. Here's Payne. And you see the defensive potential of what it is that James Wiseman brings to the game. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Here's Pattis one, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. The Warriors have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. They get a hand on it. And here's Payne, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Warriors ahead. 
as they wrap up the third quarter with a huge surge an 18 to 5 run and do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next and it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game and the definition of teamwork right there guys I mean what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat the coaches talk about it all the time but to be able to play with that kind of feel nice play collaborating improvising and organic well what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball so with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We've got Thompson, and it's one out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Draymond Green, and it's Willis in at the point guard position. Allen finds Mobley. That one's not going to go. Warriors leading by eight. Here's Pattis one. Makes it off the glass. Pattis one's got four points this quarter down the stretch he's been flat out awesome he helped them get the lead and now he's making sure they keep it up and in on the way up and the Warriors lead by 12 uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away at this point I don't know what you can do to slow this team down well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Here's Oubre. The Warriors making the shot. Cleveland moving it around. To the inside. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now. And if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Here's baddest one. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mobley's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Thompson with it. Guarded now by Okoro. Thompson passes the baddest one. Back to Thompson. Passes it to baddest one. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Garland, he's checked in for Cleveland. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. The Cavaliers trail by 14. Now the feed to Allen. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. And that's now 10 points for Allen. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Oubre can't get it to go. Warriors leading by 14. And the basket by Baddest One. Baddest One's got 45 points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. And the Warriors with some changes. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Jonathan Kaminga. Cool comes in for Clay Thompson. And Curry subbed in for Willis. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Garland does a good job there getting the shot up into the air while he's being fouled. At the line for Cleveland, Darius Garland. At the line for your Cavaliers with two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And he can't hit the second. He needed to convert on all of those. Missed opportunities at the line are the last thing they need right now. Back to Poole. Pass to Kirby. Lock at six. Shoots over Oubre. 
Curry can't get it to go. The Cavaliers trail by 17. And they came to play tonight, asserted their will, a terrific Warrior performance. Ball. And it'll go down as a crucial game five win for the Warriors. And every opportunity they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. I think it paid off, that's for sure. And they've just made these finals interesting. It appeared it may be a short series, but with the win here in Game 5, that title is truly up for grabs again. Yeah, and only a handful of teams have come back from a 3-1 deficit in the NBA playoffs. But from the display they put on tonight, it looks like they may have what it takes to join the ranks of those teams. But what a historic comeback it would be if they can pull it off. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for baddest one. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Pass to Rollins. There's 37 seconds left in the game. Here's baddest one. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Cleveland ball. Substitution on the court. Willis against Rubio. He dishes it to Pirtle. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And there's the pass to Wade. And they get it back. Pirtle kicks to Wade. Passes it to Nunn. Here is Lynch. Now Pirtle defended by Looney. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. The People the were riding their obituary before this game. <laughs> but this win cast the series in a whole new light now. Greg. And listen, they still got to win two more. But after seeing how they performed tonight, is there any doubt, Kevin, they're capable of it? I mean, we could be in the midst of a major comeback. No doubt at all. You're right. And that concludes our coverage of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. For Brent Berry, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin.